Hey everyone and welcome to DCF Garage and what we're going to do today in me and Gorgeous Wife's W211 2003 E20 Mercedes we're going to try to take care of a leak in the trunk. Yes, uh, we have a leak as you can see there's a little bit of a rust spot there uh, rust spot there so water has been getting in this trunk and that's absolutely not good and I do have a suspicion that it is getting in the trunk through uh, the tail light. So as you can see, the, the rubber here is gone. I couldn't find a nice used rubber. I'm gonna try to use some RTV silicone here to try to seal this. But I also have gaskets for the tail lights. I'm also gonna apply some RTV around the gaskets. I wanna, wanna make sure. And my suspicion is that this tail light is letting things in is because we have a cricket remain here inside the tail light. How did that cricket get in there? I have no idea. But that leads me to believe that there is water getting in through the tail light. If it's not the tail light, then it can be the trim around the license plate. Um, but we're going to start with the tail light because I think that is most likely the culprit of our uh, water getting inside the trunk. So let me start disassembling uh, all of this here got some clips gotta take this out got some fasteners here and here so let's take this out and start working on this So you have to undo the wiring here, undo the clip. Just remove the clip, just pushing this tab and pulling it out. Just like that. Same thing on the other side. Pull out the connection. Now you're ready to pull out the whole trim piece. These are T20 Torx bolts. And there is another one here. And there are a few clips, I believe, or it's just this clip here. There's an additional clip right there. So just make sure you also remove that one right there. You gotta open this ring over here. You actually don't need to open. You just move it away and you can pull the molding here just keep it like that and it should be able to pull it out just like that now we have access to our tail light so I'm just gonna disconnect the wiring just like that and now we're gonna get these bolts out I'm not sure these look like eight millimeter right here we have a suspect so this bolt is rusted so this means that it's probably seen water and moisture so let's get this out so right here we have our uh, rear sam if you're wondering where it is located it's right here and we have what would be the navigation uh you know slot which this car does not have so we're going to take these out these are eight millimeter bolts get them out there's one, two, three, four. So, seems to be four bolts. Yeah, it's loose. Absolutely. Loose. Oh, there's one more bolt. My bad. So there's five bolts total. All right, and um, so we have a very, very cracked and brittle gasket. I'm not sure I can see evidence of water. I can see some over here, absolutely, which matches our gasket, right? So our gasket is bad right over here at the top. So I think that there was water coming in through here into the trunk, but anyway, we're going to come in with new gasket. We're going to put some RTV silicone and hopefully 
that solves it. Take out the old gasket and we're gonna come in with our new gasket. Much better shape, but we're still going to apply RTV silicone. Okay, perfect fit. Now I'm gonna apply a bead of RTV silicone throughout. Put it back in. Just gonna be careful so I don't mess the silicone bead. I try to be careful. All right, now let's uh, land some fasteners. All right, I'll tighten this one last. So that should do it. Now let's repeat the same process on the other side. Don't forget to reconnect your tail light, click just like that. Now we're gonna go in with our molding. And this is gonna be a little bit tricky because you have to slide it in between stuff here. One minute, 37 seconds later. Make sure the wiring is not, not tucked in. It's out here so you can reconnect. So this side is all set, let's work on the other side. On the right side you have the reservoir for the air suspension that you have to move and these I believe are going to be 10 millimeter bolts um, for you to get the reservoir out of the way so you can access the bolts for the, for the tail light. Just be careful with the air line over here so you don't damage and create a leak on your air suspension. This side looks decent, so it's not as bad as the other side. You can see it's all cracked, but this one looks actually decent. I think the problem was the left side tail light. We're gonna put a bead of RTV silicone and put this back in. So we got our tail light with a good bead of RTV silicone. We're gonna go back in with it. Try not to mess with the silicone bead as best as possible. Now that we got it connected back together, let's just connect the wiring. Just like that. Let's put the molding back on, everything back together. And that's basically it. Now we're gonna go back with the last trim piece and uh, gotta connect the light here. Make sure it clicks. Gonna connect the other side. Make sure it clicks just like that. And then we just gently place it back in place. So we got everything in place. The plastic clips. Make sure it's flush before you push it in. So I got everything back in place. We got both tail lights with new gaskets and silicone and hopefully this is going to take care of our trunk leak. So that's it. If you liked the video, remember to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Thank you.